For months, astronomers had been watching 3AI Atlas, the third interstellar visitor after Oumuamua and Borisov, tracking its strange green tail and its unusual behavior as it swept into the solar system. Most thought they knew what they were dealing with, just one enigmatic body hurtling past the sun. But on September 19th, at exactly 2 ax a.m. UTC, everything changed. An amateur astronomer in Chile captured images of something no one was prepared to see. Nine faint points of light surrounding Atlas, moving in perfect lockstep with it, like fireflies orbiting a lantern. Within hours, the James Webb Telescope Hubble and the Very Large Telescope confirmed the same thing. 3AI Atlas was not alone. It was escorted, ten objects all traveling together, all with the same strange glow. And what scientists soon discovered about these hidden companions would shake astronomy to its core. You'll want to follow this story closely as it unfolds. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next revelation. At first, professionals dismissed the images as noise or digital artifacts, the kind of mistakes that happen when cameras pick up cosmic rays. But Webb's infrared eyes and the precision of Hubble erased any doubts. Nine smaller bodies were indeed flying alongside three AI Atlas, each keeping the exact same trajectory and speed, each radiating the same eerie green-tinted light. Spectral analysis confirmed what nobody wanted to believe. They weren't fragments torn from the main body, but independent objects carrying the same metallic signature as Atlas itself. Nickel, cobalt and exotic alloys not typically found in comets. Even stranger. While 3AI Atlas had already baffled researchers with a thermal profile suggesting a 10 gigawatt power source, the companions appeared to radiate nearly twice that, 20 gigawatts each, contained inside objects no larger than city blocks. For comparison, that's enough power to light entire nations compacted into fragments of rock and ice. Natural processes don't do that. Nature doesn't build small bodies with reactors inside. But if they were probes, if they were engineered, then the implications are staggering. The most haunting part of this discovery was not their power, but their suddenness. For weeks, telescopes around the world, both amateur and professional, had been watching Atlas carefully. NASA's Juno, the Parker Solar Probe, even missions en route to Mercury and beyond were collecting data. Not one of them saw these companions coming. According to Harvard's Avi Loeb, the nine bodies didn't drift into view. They blinked into existence in a fraction of a millisecond, faster than a camera flash, faster even than the blink of an eye. Our instruments simply weren't fast enough to capture the moment they appeared. To astronomers, it was as if the sky itself had changed in an instant. One moment a solitary traveller, the next a convoy. Theories poured in. Did Atlas release them like mini-probes, deploying its drones as it entered the inner solar system? Were they dormant until triggered by the sun's gravity or radiation? Or did they arrive from somewhere else entirely, hiding in plain sight until the perfect moment to reveal themselves? Whatever the answer, their appearance wasn't random. It was deliberate. When astrophysicists tried to model the companion's energy profiles, their computers failed. No matter how they adjusted the equations, temperature, density, fusion or fission reactions, the numbers refused to converge. You cannot fit the kind of power radiating from these objects into something that small without technology beyond our comprehension. Exotic containment fields, antimatter catalysis, even dark matter reactions were thrown onto the table because ordinary physics couldn't explain it. Each of the nine bodies appeared hotter, denser and more energetic than the main craft, as if they were designed for close approaches while Atlas itself remained at a distance. In other words, they weren't just escorts. They were frontline agents carrying more raw power than anything humanity has ever conceived. The realization sent ripples through the scientific community because it suggested intent. Something had placed these objects here. Something had given them impossible energy cores and something was directing their path. As images spread online, ordinary people asked the obvious question, why hadn't we been told? Why did it take an amateur astronomer with a hillside telescope to expose what the world's most advanced observatories had missed? NASA and ESA issued only the vaguest of statements, acknowledging ongoing observations while refusing to release raw web spectra. Behind the scenes, however, leaked memos revealed emergency meetings at the Pentagon, ESA headquarters and China's space agency, with whispers of contingency plans ranging from interception missions 
to planetary defense protocols. Private space companies were quietly approached about rapid launches, while European designs for asteroid deflection were dusted off. And yet to the public a silence, no warnings, no explanations, just carefully controlled reassurances that there was no evidence of threat. But silence speaks volumes. Because if nine hidden objects really did appear alongside three AI Atlas, each radiating more power than entire nations, then the truth is already too big to contain, and governments know it. When Avi Loeb from Harvard analyzed the sudden appearance of the Nine Companions, he proposed a theory that sent chills through the astronomical community, the Mothership Hypothesis. According to him, 3AI Atlas may not be a solitary body at all, but a carrier, a larger interstellar craft releasing probes as it approached its target, in this case, our solar system. The escorts weren't fragments or debris, but scouts deliberately deployed to maneuver closer to worlds while the main craft remained farther away. If true, this would explain their denser power signatures, their synchronized orbits, and their simultaneous emergence. The horrifying implication was that these probes were not just drifting. They had a mission. Were they mapping the planets, searching for resources, or simply observing us, the only intelligent species they could now detect? To Loeb, one thing was certain. Probes this advanced do not appear by accident. They appear when they are meant to be seen. Not everyone agreed with Loeb. Some astronomers offered a more natural explanation that Atlas had collided with a massive interstellar rock, shattering into smaller fragments that retained its speed and trajectory. This could, in theory, account for the nine companions flying in formation. But almost immediately, the numbers broke the theory apart. Fragments from collisions do not ignite like reactors. They don't radiate 20 gigawatts each, and they certainly don't produce identical tails of glowing green light with the same exotic metallic composition as the parent body. The precision of their trajectories was too perfect, their synchrony too absolute. Even the skeptics had to admit that the companions behaved less like broken shards of a comet and more like machines designed for a purpose. The natural explanation crumbled under the weight of the evidence, leaving only the engineered hypothesis standing, and that was a truth most scientists were not ready to say out loud. As if the nine companions weren't enough, the story grew stranger still. From the opposite direction of the sky, another interstellar object, C2025R2, nicknamed SW, was approaching. 100 times larger and brighter than Atlas, with a tail stretching five times the width of the full moon, SW was set to reach its closest pass to the sun within days of Atlas, two interstellar giants converging on the same corridor of space, fair escorted by a fleet of hidden companions, all during the same week in October. To many, this timing was no coincidence. Some speculated SW was arriving as a protector, intercepting Atlas and its escorts before they could unleash whatever mission they carried. Others suggested the opposite, that both objects were part of the same operation, converging near the sun to exchange energy, data, or even cargo. And then there were the historians pointing out that records of unusual green-tailed visitors stretched back millennia, appearing in cycles of roughly 2,200 years. If those records were real, then humanity had seen this before and survived. But survival this time was no guarantee. While the public was left to speculate, governments were anything but idle. Leaked memos revealed emergency sessions at the Pentagon, at European Space Command, and within China's National Space Administration. Draft contingency plans outlined everything from reconnaissance probes to outright planetary defense scenarios. China reportedly redirected resources from its Long March 9 rocket program into designing a high-velocity interceptor. The ESA dusted off designs from its abandoned Don Quixote asteroid deflection mission. Even private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin were quietly approached about rapid response launches. And yet, in public, silence. NASA refused to release Webb's raw spectra. ESA declined to comment, and the White House issued only a one-sentence statement, we are aware of the situation and monitoring it. That silence fed paranoia because when nine objects suddenly appear, each radiating impossible power, and the world's most powerful institutions respond not with transparency, but with secrecy. It suggests that the stakes are far higher than anyone dares admit. Perhaps the most unsettling aspect of the Companions 
was how they came into existence. According to Harvard's analysis, the nine objects appeared in just a single millisecond, far faster than any natural fragmentation process could occur. To put that into perspective, a human blink lasts 300 milliseconds, a camera flash about five, 